welcome everyone to this unusual but an interesting video hope you all are doing great let's begin i was making my way across town trying to get to you i've been keeping my phone on no sound facing you out that's true I can't express how excited and happy I was when I came across this idea some time ago using a scotch tape. Back then I wasn't sure if this would work effectively especially on the greasy kitchen jars which happened to get used a lot. But yeah, this method was no less. Carried me far far away. And that's why I couldn't make it. Mind you, do not limit the usage of this hack just to the pantry. Due to its magical effect, you can use this everywhere in the house. Cabinets, wardrobes, on top of books, files, or even for labeling electronics. You name it. What I'd like to do to you. I can see how bad it The only con I can count is that you need to write after you stick the tape on the jar which might be difficult if the jar surface isn't even Things straight Things come up things go down make me turn back around my spine is sin screaming that I'm mad on to yet another creative and fun way to label this one is for those who aren't able to get their hands on the magical tape or if you're not a fan of the transparent look chalk labels are a fun and cute way to label things the white text against the black label looks gorgeous brightening up the look of the shelf or pantry Instead of normal chalks or chalk pens, I have used something different to write on these labels. I will show what this is in the upcoming tip. The biggest advantage of this method is being able to rub off the text and being able to rewrite whenever we want. In my opinion, this method is most effective in the kitchen as it looks super cute over glass jars. I leave the link to these labels below if you're interested to get your hands on them. I can't wait to see photos of you all using these cute little black labels across the house. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up drifting away from each other didn't want to let you go. The next idea that I have for you all is one of my new favorite and easy to use method and that is to use a white paint marker pen. These pens can be used to directly write on top of glass jars. If you want to try something new and different from the usual methods then this trick is for you. The 
bright color brings a clean and classy look to the pantry. However, I'm not sure how feasible this method is for the rest of the house since you cannot write on anything which has a white or light colored base. Before I learned about the white paint pen, I was using our plain old marker pen. Yes, the black one which we all happen to have in our homes for some or the other use. Being permanent in nature, they can be a bit tricky to get off. But I've got your back my friends, it isn't that tough after all. Use a simple nail paint remover and voila, off comes the label. How easy right? were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air the older i get the more i realize that it is important for my ways and methods to be easy maintenance in the long run anything that doesn't take much effort which brings uniformity in the way my kitchen looks and most importantly it should be legible <laughs> I'm sure my mum would agree on this one. Cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart. And promise nobody can steal me away. Then I am yours. Cause I want you and I wanted you to know. Printing out labels do lack that personal touch, unlike the handwritten ones. But I find this method to be the easiest of all. With a one-time investment, this can be the ultimate solution to all our labeling challenges. Ooh, baby, I only want you. It's true. And then he said, I wrote you a love song. And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand held her clothes under the moonlight as they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. and now they're singing their love song and they sing it kind of beautiful calling each 
each other's sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know There's a place I have found In the shade on the ground I also happen to have this manual labeling machine which is my second love. <laughs> the embossed effect that it gives makes up for all the effort we take to select each and every letter by hand for each label. Good news! This machine costs less than half or even lesser than the battery operated machine that I showed you all earlier. If you think I've been using all these fancy labeling techniques since forever, then that's not true. I started out just like many of you with whatever little I had at home. The inner freak in me couldn't resist the feeling to label things, so I tried everything I could at home. Using a permanent marker was one discovery that I made through my many experiments. Using a cello tape was another. There was a time I was obsessed with post-it notes. I just found them super colorful and neat. The funny thing is that I never knew what to do with them. <laughs> Hoarding post-it notes without any justified use wasn't encouraged by my family since they were a little pricey. So slowly I started coming up with new ways to use them in the house and in my work. One such way was to use them as labels. The other was using in my diaries to add some color or to write a special note. Could I use them all up? Hell no. And you know what? I'm still collecting them in different colors. <laughs> no te niegues, me tienes aquí. 